the number of people who have died with coronavirus in the UK is set to pass 10,000 as tributes are paid to NHS staff who have lost their lives. Boris Johnson says he owes his life to staff at St Thomas's Hospital in London, where he spent the last seven nights. Good morning. With sport in shutdown, another Premier League club announces its furloughing staff. Sheffield United are the latest to take action, but will not use the government's job retention scheme and will keep workers on full pay. Let's have a look at the front pages of the papers this morning. Sunday Express leading on a tribute paid to the NHS staff by the Prime Minister. He said, uh, of course, he's been in uh, intensive care, still in hospital this morning, uh, but now back on the ward. He said, I can't thank them enough. I owe them my life. And looking at the Daily Mirror, reports that some hospitals are running out of three vital drugs needed to treat coronavirus patients, with one consultant calling the situation extremely worrying. The NHS phone app holds the key to lifting the lockdown. That's the headline from the Sunday Times this morning. As first reported by the BBC, a proposed new NHS app would allow tracking of the coronavirus infection and alert people when they need to be tested. And the Observer claims that the UK's main opposition parties have united to demand Parliament is urgently recalled in virtual form. Hospital consultants have told the BBC that some medicines used in intensive care are in relatively short supply. The Royal College of Anesthesia says stocks of medicines in some areas are also stretched. It said staff were being advised to find alternatives but reassured patients that they would not be put at risk. Well, the Queen has delivered an Easter message. She urged people to focus on the meaning of Easter, of light overcoming the dark, just as we as a nation would overcome this pandemic. It is believed to be the first Easter address that she has made. It was recorded in isolation in Windsor Castle. 